welcome to tilir today we will see the spreadsheet intermediate of class 10 unit 4 okay in this we will talk about session 1 to 3 that is from 1 use auto sum in cells to conditional formatting and in session 3 we will talk about how to hide unhide freeze rows and columns so these are all the things which i'll be showing to you practically now for this i have opened a spreadsheet uh, with the data i have filled in with the uh, student names everything now i'll tell you talk about how to do auto sum so before that you all know that spreadsheet is useful for doing calculation normally we do it by entering the formulas by giving equal to and then sum all these things right but this can also be done by just selecting the auto sum option which is under the home tab in the editing section right just by extending the same formula can be extended to the other cells as well this auto sum when we use it can select the data either horizontally or vertically right so that is how the auto sum is used now we will talk about conditional formatting so conditional formatting is something we can select the data and we can format based on some conditions that is available under this conditional formatting is available under the home tab under the styles option by clicking on that you will be getting a dialog box i have selected the greater than option i am uh, uh, now i am going to select enter some data here enter the value which is should be greater than 85 and i am selecting the color red here so all the values which is greater than 85 with the condition greater than 85 is selected with the red color in the data now i'll show again greater than and uh, greater than i'm going to enter some other value here i'm entering 90 and then going to custom so that i can select the color which is apart from the uh, available option for this to appear enable you need to first select the data and then go ahead and click on the conditional formatting click on the greater than and then enter the data whichever you wanted here greater than value and uh, now i am giving 45 and then selecting the custom format and selecting the color from that and then clicking on okay so this color is not there so i am doing a custom format apart from the available for options we have the custom option here from which i have selected the blue color to display it so under this highlight cells rows rules we have various options right so now i will show you how to do the less than option i selected the less, less than option here i am going to enter less than 70 and then click on some color here and then click on okay uh, children keep in mind that if you are not selecting the data the entire set you, whatever we are doing it, it you will not get that implemented there so now i selected the data going to the highlight custom rules and then selecting that less than option i selected 45 i am changing the color as green and clicking on okay now you can see the data whichever is less than 35 all had got changed to the green color right so now again custom we it has various options greater than less than between equal to less than condition all these conditions can be uh, applied using this conditional formatting right okay sometimes we may need to select the data from a particular cell for this we can enter the data here and then go ahead click on conditional formatting highlight cells rules i'm selecting greater than i'm going to give the address of the cell from which we have to uh, uh, take the value so now i'm going to take the address of the cell which has the value and then i'm going to apply the rule 
the greater than rule so i have entered 45 in that particular cell p 11 so p 11 is the address of that particular cell i am entering that and then clicking on the red border as my option i am clicking on okay so it has not applied hope you know why it is because i have not selected the data there now again i am going ahead selecting the data and then clicking on conditional formatting and then same greater than and i am selecting i am giving the address of the cell equal to dollar p dollar symbol and then 11 once i enter into enter that dollar 11 once i enter that i click on okay now you can see the changes applied to the data yep so this is how the conditional formatting is done so the conditions we are manipulating the data based on some conditions that is the main agenda of this conditional formatting now we'll go ahead and see how to hide or unhide these cells so for that we can use the format uh, option which is under the cell groups cells groups okay so now you can select the row or the column which you wanted to hide and then go to the format and then click on hide now you could see that the max column has been hided right again to unhide that click on the format go to the same i hide or unhide and then click on unhide rows right again if you want to unhide any column you can click on that unhide it to get it back okay so this is how we can unhide and hide the column sometimes we may need to do this uh, to see the data properly so that is the reason so now i will talk about how to freeze or unfreeze the pains okay so it, now i have the data here i have my cursor in the d column and i am going to click on view and the view we have that option freeze pains so once i click on that you could see the dark line there so i am moving my cursor you could see that the rows a b c is freezed only the moment is applied from d and i unfreezed it now and now i'm unfreezing the top row alone so sometimes if we have a large data even we need to move the uh, cursor we may need to know only the title to see the title alone so for that it is used unhide the rows or i mean freeze the rows now we saw the freeze rows and freeze freeze columns even the freeze first column is the option to freeze the first a column alone so while moving we can move the data here and there freezing and and freezing so, right hope you understand the session from 1 2 3 how to do auto sum and how to do the conditional formatting and how to hide unhide and freeze and unfreeze the panes right okay so if you have any doubts please comment it in the comment section and please subscribe it and click on the notification for further videos thank you for watching tulir have a great day